I'm Dimitrios Kontoyanis. Uh, I'm a professor in infectious disease at uh, the University of Texas and the Anderson Cassidy Center in Houston, Texas. I'm uh, Jean-Paul Adjé. I'm the head of the Spurgeries Unit at the Institut Pasteur. I'm a professor also at the Institut Pasteur. Uh, today, the first session was entitled uh, How Aspergillus Turns from a Trivial Colonizer into a Pathogen. That was an interesting uh, session that uh, focused on experimental data uh, that uh, tried to study how Aspergillus, that is a ubiquitous organism in the environment, and we all inhale uh, this fungus, senses environmental cues inside the lung and by doing that, especially in the setting of underlying immune suppression or underlying damage in the lung, invades and produces a, a, a disease. Uh, some of the topics covered was how can we model uh, this type of chronicity of disease uh, in experimental systems. Some other talks talk about what Aspergillus does in the context of a microbial community in the lung, the topic being microbiome or microbiome in the lungs. So this session was an uh, intellectually stimulating session that invites more work about the complexity in the dynamic system of microbiome, the environmental sensors of Aspergillus in a very complex environment such as the lung. And I would like to introduce uh, uh, Dr. Lace, who has been a pioneer and an uh, eminent feature in the study of cell wall. Uh, cell wall is the interface between the fungus biology and immune responses and determines whether a fungus is a colonizer or an invader. And uh, Jean-Paul is going to talk to us a little bit about um, his uh, overview, overview about cell wall biogenesis, immune re responses, etc. Yeah, cell wall is something which is really unique uh, among fungi. So fungi are eukaryotic cells, but they are surrounded by a, fun by a cell wall. And this cell wall, because it's outside the cell, is in contact not only with the human cells, but also with all the other members of the microbiota, which are bacteria. And there is more and more connection between microbiota and the, the fungi. In fact, now that's, people don't think about treating one disease. They think about connecting bacteria, host cells, and fungi all together to get a perfect understanding of what is the disease and what is uh, aspergillosis. Knowing that with aspergillosis, you have different type of patient, you have immunocompromised, immunocompetent patient, and you have different type of disease which are going from a little bit of uh, growth of the fungus to an invasive growth that is going to kill. And for all this, the cell wall is more connected between all the, the environmental cell, and at the same time, it's a target for drugs, and in fact, there are drugs that are specifically targeting cell wall and that are used in the clinics.